Hey guys, and welcome to Fahrenheit. Uh, well, another episode of it, really. Um, with this, uh, we're going to carry on straight from where, where, from where we left off the last time. And uh, that was where we were playing as Carla, I think it was. No. Tyler. Um, and we, what, we, what would we have to do with Tyler? We need to, well, we need to get him ready for going to the station to help Carla and profile uh, hey, Lincoln. Hey, you're a good looking guy, you know that? Oh, so it's only been a couple of days and we've already forgotten, forgotten their names, bloody hell. It's broad daylight outside, I think I'm a little early. Still haven't figured out how to do the uh, subtitles. I will definitely have it. I will figure it out. Even if it's. Statuary even if I only have it figured out by the end of this, I will have it figured game. out. <laughs> Man. I love watching her when she's sleeping. I've known her for two years now. She still rocks my world the way she did the first time I ever saw her. Yeah, let's do some sweet loving. Yeah, let's give her some sweet ass loving. <laughs> I thought you were in a hurry. Oh, he's just tense now. Oh, That's all he is. Oh, he was stressed. This is helping him to be just be tense. Only two minutes. Oh, okay. No, I want to see some good action. Come on. Um, right, so we, while he's having a go with his girlfriend, let's, uh... And switch to Tyler. <laughs> if any of you are wondering what the music in the background is, it's Love TKO by Teddy Pendergrass. That's what it is. That's it. For some reason, it always seems to go to the side. No, yeah, the analog control. Let's put it. Come on, let's play the yoga. Okay, let's try to right. I'm gonna see if I can pull off some sick tricks, bro. Sick trick. There we go. And back to the game. Okay, so it's only like a little loop. Another, another sick trick. There we go. There we go. Right, fine, right. Seems to have to fail it to be able to put it, put it down, you see, so. Right, put it away. Yeah, back on the desk. There we go. Right, uh, And let's just start from the beginning, okay. You know, let's call him to, uh, kind of, you know, come on, Tyler, hurry up, stop banging your girl, or your girlfriend, or your wife, or whatever she is. Yeah, Carla, I'm on my way. Why are you still dressed? Yeah, and I'm wearing knickers. No, I. No, and you weren't doing a very good job, were you, Tyler? So yeah, okay, okay, I'm right there. Girl, okay, this time I really am out of here. Okay, the mystical door to the bathroom. Oh, let's wash them. I need to wash my black ass. Oh, yeah. So, you gonna join him? You gonna join him? You gonna join him? Come on. Come on. Enjoy him. Screw you, bitch. <laughs> Right. Uh, come on. Have a whiz. See? Here's the real things that make you feel better. A shower, looking at yourself, a piss, all the good stuff. Yeah. 
don't, I honestly don't know what these unlock, or like, what, I can't remember what they, what they actually do. Uh oh, Sam looks like she's sulking. And I well, know something's bothering her. No guild. Crazy lady. Go back to bed, Sam. You're gonna catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. Oh, look, Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. Look, I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning I'm, I'm terrified that something's gonna happen to you. I don't understand why you're upset. There's a lot of violence out there. But if nobody does anything, it's all gonna go to shit. We're gonna have kids someday. I want to leave them a world that's a little better than the one we got now. But why does it have to be you who's out there risking his life, Tyler? Why couldn't we just go to Florida and work with my family and live a normal yes, life like everybody upset. else? But why do I have to wonder if you're going to die every day? Mm. I'm just not made for Convince. that kind of life, Sam. I've been around too much violence all my life to go live some kind of normal life like that. I know you love me, babe. So try to understand me, too. Anything you reckon of? Nope. Okay. Well, let's get you dressed. Ooh, let's put some music on. And yes, the mu all the music in this, in this game that is playing is copyrighted. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, no, no, I this get this video won't. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> so I need to be careful that I don't play too much or have it too loud that it can be copyrighted. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, is it? Is. On the um. In Lucas's uh, apartment, I think it's his name. I think it's his name. He had the yeah, cuts so almost. Anyway, um, he has uh, on his media player. Um, he's uh, he has a theory of the dead man and a couple of other and um, Breaking Benjamin on there. That's where I first discovered them through this game. And if you have never heard of those, listen to them. Brilliant music. Still, they're, still, they're, they're still touring as well. I, I really want to see them in concert. Really do. I love you, Tyler. Give her a kiss and off we go. Right. What do you have to say? Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Bye. Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. guy I was looking for. Oh, shit. You remember that hundred bucks I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example? Jeffrey, don't tell me you're prepared to ruin a beautiful friendship for a hundred lousy dollars. This may surprise you, but yes. So give up the cash before I start to get really angry. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play Try not to speak too much because I don't want to that. If you win, I'll give you two hundred like, bucks right then. But if speak you speak over them so you know what's going on. I don't have the subtitles on the moment. I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose because that. Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'll come by and see you when I get five minutes. The 
waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Finally so got the subtitle sorted. Had okay. to quit Two out minutes. the game and change it from the language menu, not audio or anything like that in game. That's so stupid. Language, uh, the subtitles has always been in audio because that's what it not language. Oh, I don't know. So, what do you want to start with? What about the pool of blood in the stall? So, you know, you're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim, it was from the killer. What, what was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. Frank found a book on one of the tables in the diner. It was Shakespeare. Uh, the this man looking to a crystal ball is a world and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. Okay. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Hey. <laughs> Why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Well, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. Hey, finally got the bloody subtitles sorted. What kind of Her fucking he right. Priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe well, that I, I had to nothing to I had to exit out of the game just to go to languages, to go on to subtitles. Even though subtitles are always in audio. It's been a while. Two years. Weird. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. Fuck off! I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened in a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance. Right. Like I was a, gonna call. a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God, I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. And there's this too. You cut your wrists. Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. You went to this restaurant alone? Yeah. Tiffany and I, we broke up about a month ago. I try to get out of the apartment as much as possible. It's just so empty there without her, you know. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. You say that you were in a sort of a trance. But what do you mean by that? You talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have an explanation. I'm just telling you what happened, that's all. I'm only certain about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? 
No, it was it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles. Little girl. And and there was this little girl. You saw a little girl? She seemed alone, lost. She, she asked me to help her. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. It might be better. Maybe you should go and tell your story to the police, Lucas. Turn yourself in before they find you. Do you really think the police are going to believe a story like that? They'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life, and I'll never find out what really happened. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. Oops, All these sorry, years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, There's some Marcus. Of these to talk You're the to. only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Yeah, look, 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 look you know at that, that I don't wonderfully detailed hand. Thanks. It always seems to happen whenever there's a like crow around, doesn't it? That kid, he's gonna slip on the ice. I've got to stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. Help the kid. Duh. Oh. There he is. He's lost consciousness. Quick. I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Let's listen for a pulse. Let's try and wake him up. One, two, two three. three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, three. two, three. Hey. One, two, three. Patrol 324, kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Fahrenheit. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a lot of Please give um, it back. let me know what you think and what, really what, you, me, or or what games you want to see in the future in the comments below. But and please me, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you all in the, in the next video. Thank you.